Hey guys, today we're going to be doing something a little bit weird. Um, we're going to be talking about my uh, little experiment that I have going on in my casting room, just to my right here. Um, so there's a few things that I wanted to address um, with the casting setup in general. I wanted to address health. Um, when you mix investments, they have silica in them, you should always be wearing a dust mask and you just have to take every possible precaution to make sure that you're containing that silica as best you can. They make specific filter hood cabinet things, you know, for mixing investment, just for filtering out the particulate, but they're very expensive. So I kind of just thought critically, like how can I do this cheaper, as effective, and maybe even make it multi-purpose? What I opted for was, well, you know what, let's just, I'll just show you. <laughs> So this is what I've come up with. Um, critically thinking, what do you need to contain silica? Well, ideally a cabinet or something of that nature. So, I mean, what is a sandblaster except a cabinet for containing dust, honestly? Um, so we went with this. This is a floor model one. Uh, for you Americans, you can get it at Harbor Freight. I believe they're in red. For us in Canada, this is Princess Auto. Um, this is the largest one they offer. It's floor model, you have to build it yourself. It's kind of a pain. Um, but I liked that. I liked that I could build it myself because then I can do it right and I can over-engineer it. Um, this is going to be containing dust, but we're also going to be using it for a pressure washing station because there's nothing to me that's more boring and, well, seemingly like a waste of time than scrubbing my, my cast models uh, for like 45 minutes with a toothbrush and a knitting needle trying to pick out all the investment. If I can just power wash it, that would be amazing. It would save me so much time. This is the Power Play Spider. And the biggest reason why I got this was because it was on my local marketplace very cheaply. <laughs> um, unfortunately, this particular model is unavailable. They've just simply discontinued it. Um, I didn't know that I had such a deal on my hands though. Something, if you're not familiar with pressure washers, is that, well, they're very noisy. Very noisy. There's uh, companies like Simons. Actually, it doesn't matter which one you talk about. They're all the same. They, they're all rated for about 95 decibels. That's for the electric ones. When I got this one, I didn't really know that it's rated for 60 decibels, which is about talking. It's, very, it's actually very manageable. And it has some special features. For instance, right now, it's actually turned on and it only actually starts making any noise when I use the gun. Maybe that's a, f a feature of other ones, but I'm not really too familiar with other brands. Anyway, this is also rated for 2,030 PSI at 1.4 gallons per minute, which is really more than enough. I looked at some of the industrial ones and uh, just some other options. There are smaller ones as well. They're rated for about 1,500 PSI. So this, taking into account the some of the loss of pressure uh, down the line with the nozzle and stuff like that, we're still above the industry norm. So I think this is gonna work really well for blasting away the investment and saving me a whole ton of time. So to bring it back to what I was talking about before about the containing silica, we're gonna try to contain silica at every single stage of this process. Not only are we gonna be washing our finished casts in this under the high pressure washer, I'm also gonna be using this cabinet to mix my investment. Um, I'll be weighing it separately, putting everything into the cabinet, and then using a mixer inside containing all that dust. And being that it's a pressure washer, we'll be able to, it'll, it'll settle into water. If it's not, if, if it sticks to the walls and stuff, then we'll just wash the whole cabinet. So it'll be very easy to contain all of this dust. So I've just cast this flask and it looks a little bit odd. Um, this is the first time I've ever done the boric acid. So I really hope I did this right. Boric acid is basically a flux, what you use mostly with gold. What it does in, the, in this sense though, is it's supposed to make the investment harder. And until I actually quench this, I don't know if that's true or not. So I hope I did it right. Um, it looks about what I'd expect. Flux tends to create this weird coating. Um, hopefully this is gonna turn out. So yes, it, uh, the boric acid seems to have worked uh, as intended. This is after the quench. It's still hot. Nothing has happened. This is essentially like concrete now. 
So I really hope I can get this out. Uh, obviously one way or the other I'm gonna have to, uh, probably with a hammer. Uh, we're gonna try power washer first and try to break it up. So we just did our first real world test and um, wow, like I am, I'm blown away. This is working better than I ever thought it would. Um, so we just tried casting, um, this is a spoiler alert. We just tried testing CenterTech uh, resin, which according to the resin company says that we need to be using the boric acid method. For those of you who don't know, boric acid added to your investment powder, about 3% makes your investment rock, rock hard. What that does is it helps mitigate the thermal expansion from the lost resin process. I had never done this before, so I was a little bit hesitant, but I mean, whoa, <laughs> this stuff is crazy in multiple ways. Uh, first of all, the casting is great. Uh, make sure you're, you're liked and subscribed so you don't miss that particular uh, video later on. Um, but more looking on the investment, it is literally a rock. Like we quenched this flask and nothing happened. <laughs> That's very abnormal. Um, the pressure washer on the other hand just, just blew right through it. We had it clean down to, to this exact stage within four minutes. There's no investment on this whatsoever. Um, as I mentioned before, this process, just scrubbing this, usually takes like half an hour, 45 minutes without boric acid. With boric acid, I would be here till tomorrow. No joke, this stuff is so hard and the casting quality looks pretty good. So overall, this was a, an incredibly well done um, little experiment that we had. I am very happy with the results. Um, if you're interested in doing this and you have any questions, feel free to drop me uh, a message anywhere on our socials. I'll make sure to help you out, no problem. Um, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.